Yo, what's up? This is H Dami. Your boy first man right here right now. Yo, what's up? It's Mum's a Stranger. Yo, this is Rackstar. And Yo, you're watching, watching British TV. TV. Oh. oh, bro, you've been answering <laughs> this one for the past two yeah, days. Um, how does collaboration happen? Well, first of all, um, first man hit me up on Insta, you know, big up Instagram. And basically, when he uh, messaged me, I was like, hold on a second, I know this guy. Because I was already listening to his music. Um, listen to La Girina, Matt to Grimes, and First Man was on the playlist. Massive tunes across Europe and stuff, worldwide. I was like, all right, I've heard your music before. And straight away, I was like, it's quite humble for him to like, holler like that. And I didn't, it was, it was like unexpected. And uh, straight away, I was just like, yeah, do you know what? Let's, let's meet, let's make some music. And then I let First Man carry on from there. Yeah, so I uh, asked Mumsy, can you connect a few more artists? Because I want to do a writing camp. I have, I have my own compound in Holland and I have my own studios and I just wanted to organize a writing camp and create an album that's going to change uh, the work ethic and, uh, and the state of the scene, of the music scene, of the DC scene. And uh, that's what I did. I started uh, organizing a writing camp Rackstar, Mumsy, H flew over to Holland to work with me and we had a crazy writing camp. I think we recorded almost 20 tracks. Loads of songs. Yeah. More and, than uh, Yeah. So it's part of a bigger project and we're going to do a second part of the writing camp too. And uh, <coughs> there, there are a lot, a lot of tracks coming and dance was like the first song that we created together and yeah. 100% man, I think it was um, working out pretty well. Definitely man, when, even when Mumsy hit me up, he was like, look, this is this is what's going on, this is the opportunity we have. But it sounded too good to be sort of true because um, it doesn't usually happen like that, you know? No, no. It, it doesn't, I mean, it's a fact. But um, yeah, when we went over to Amsterdam, um, it was just, um, Den Haag, sorry. Yeah. Went over there, the atmosphere was just amazing. And it was just like, you're in this space with about say 10, 15 producers that are just passing through and you're just working and you're just enjoying yourself and I think that's how this track came together because everyone was just working organically. Definitely. Man. Exactly. Yeah. And then Juggy as well. Juggy was on the, yes. on the, on yeah. the track, he told the story that he was in. He was in Rotterdam for, for, for a wedding. For a show. Yeah. 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 And I got to know uh, Juggy because of Limelight. Limelight, he hooked me up with Juggy and he told Juggy about my music. So Juggy checked out my music. Because at first he wasn't answering my messages. <laughs> and, uh, really bad, Juggy. Really bad. Yeah. And um, after that, so he was uh, in Rotterdam for a wedding. He called me and uh, he said, yeah, I'm here. So I said, come hang out in the studio. And he came and I, I played the song for him. And uh, after that, he recorded his verse. And so uh, we created a, a crazy anthem. And uh, I hope everyone is enjoying. When I was a kid, I was already listening to these guys. I was, I was listening to their music and I respect them a lot as musicians. They meant a lot for DC music and I think people, young guys like me, we should recognize that and respect them for the, for the foundation that they created. Uh, and now uh, I want to create a new foundation for the next generation that has to come. And uh, I think they are the best guys to start with and to create with, uh, so that's why I connected them. Of course, everyone has his own I, style. I, I definitely think so, man. Like, he, he's like an orchestra in the studio. <laughs> he's like that, honestly. It's crazy. Um, nah, do you know what? To put so many different producers from different styles and to have a, especially to have a compound the way he did, like from studio to studio, like I was in with one producer for two hours and H was next door and Rax was upstairs in another studio. He kind of, we all kind of like studio hopped and then we ended up uh, in um, one of the main studios. We ended up in the main room and that's when we heard the dance beat. And we were like, everyone just had their moment to just write the lyrics and I was like, okay. First I was like, okay, how is this gonna come? It's so crazy because it wasn't like a competition, but everyone had to yeah, bring it, isn't it? It was a mad vibe. I everyone think, had to bring yeah. it. It was a matter of fact, I think more than anything, it was, um, I think no one was trying to outdo each other. Everyone was just enjoying themselves. And I think it was sort of breaking a lot down. 
a lot of doors for each other, you know. And there's things that I've done which I've never done in my life, you know. I've just like there's a bit of English in what I'm singing, and for my album and the features I've done, all I've done is sing Punjabi. Mm. And but again, you need the right people around you to make that happen, you know. Mm. Like Mums used to tell me, "Hey, why don't you try this?" First was saying, "Why don't you try this?" Rax was writing some stuff, and then I was giving Rax some ideas. So I think more than anything, it was just great energy that made this possible, you know. And I think yeah. that's what the industry needs. And, you know I mean, that's it's what better. it's about. It's, it's better to it's work hard. It's a proper team effort, I think. Yeah, definitely. Like yeah. everyone was in there just trying to create the best possible song, the best possible exactly. everything. Like bring out the best in each other. We were building each other up and just trying to bring out the best in each other, which I think kind of shows. There is definitely a lack <laughs> of collaborations. Um, and the reason why, I think, is because it's the mentality. I think. Uh, the, menta the mentality needs to change. Um, I'll say how it is. I think a lot of artists they they um, they want to kind of they they're competing too much, and you know I want to be me, 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 etc. And rather than you know collaborating and like yeah, you get the odd collaboration, me featuring you, you know me featuring you, kind of me, me, me again. But that's not like I'm not saying that's not the way. But this is bigger than that. Like right now. You need to change that mentality, and if you're on it, you need to just get get together and create bigger songs. Cause the whole world's doing it. Yeah. So I've seen this kind of behind, man. This should have happened ten years ago. Hundred percent, man. And I think this now, I think uh, we were talking about this for fair as well. The amount of artists that are supporting this, I think it's crazy. It's a massive thing, and I think do you know Big what? Love. They have to think that yeah, do you know what? This is what we need to be doing. So hopefully we see much more of this, you know, different artists. And like first said, that there's going to be so many other artists featuring on so many projects. I mean, it's only a good thing for the industry, I think so. The music scene in the Netherlands is, in, is, is insane. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of artists doing great things. Uh, a lot of young millionaires at the moment, they're really successful. And uh, even my career has been really successful and crazy been touring now for four years in Holland, doing shows every weekend. I think uh, I did more than a thousand shows in the last four years. And uh, yeah, it's crazy, but it's, 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 nobody's afraid to work with each other. Nobody's busy with only himself. Everyone is just sharing their creativity with each other and uh, trying to get bigger and bigger, making crazy steps and doing new things and the scene over here yeah obviously i don't know it yet because i was really surprised yesterday <laughs> yeah. but i'm having fun and uh, i think for me the most uh, beautiful thing is i'm i'm really in love with my own culture and my background and my roots and to to make music in this kind of way and get in touch with my own people and my own roots I think, yeah, that's really beautiful and, uh, and I'm, I'm just trying to create something new and it's working out pretty well. I've been planning this for two years now and uh, yeah, to see it working out like this, yeah, I'm really happy with it. All my favourite artists have great albums and I feel like all great artists have a period of time where they create great music and it's normally encapsulated in an album. Mm -hmm. um, for me as an artist, I feel like the scene is very heavily focused on singles, which is just the way it is now. And I put out a lot of singles, but in the meantime, I've been working on the album in the background. And for me, it was more about representing myself as an artist. So if you listen to the album, from beginning to end you'll know exactly who I am as an artist and as a person because it's a representation of who I am. Sometimes you can hear one song or one single and you'll be like, okay I like that song, I'm not too sure if I like that one and then you know people will just release, release single songs, you don't really get to know an artist whereas an album just gives you a full body of work and someone can listen to it and be like right I know who this is and I know what they're about, that's why I did it. Just to make loads of music, it's just crazy, release and <laughs> collaborate and release music. Yeah, bro. you release. make bare music. I've got loads <laughs> of music. <laughs> <laughs> Ten albums. <laughs> I'm actually releasing an album, so I'm actually releasing a cool album, 
and loads of records of these guys. Yeah, we've all and, got so much and to deal. so many other artists. And I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a crazy year. I yes. told it yesterday on stage, and I, I'm gonna tell it now. A revolution has started in the Dizzy scene, and uh, this is just the beginning. I'm getting warmed up. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Thanks for watching us on British Asia TV. Make sure you catch our single dance on there. Peace.